Well, you know, first, thank you very much for the opportunity to be here today um, to participate in the process. You know, I was also happy to participate in the, the RECC inquiry and the recent Audit Scotland review. Myself and the former senior management team have been have put forward a lot of factual evidence to assist these processes. <clears throat> In both cases, however, we felt it necessary to submit responses to both reports due to our concern that important issues were either not addressed, were factually inaccurate, or had been presented in a way that was misleading. There are four main factors which uh, have caused the massive cost overruns and ext extensive delays, in our view. Um, one is the, the wrong type of vessels were selected. Um, two is insufficient development of the, uh, the specification prior to the placing of the order. Um, the, the third factor is shutting down all opportunities during this um, build process for dispute resolution. And fourth, um, the nationalisation and the steps that have been taken since then have been catastrophic. And, and I'm happy to expand on those um, later on if, 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 if uh, you would allow that. Um, you know, I think it's been damaging what's happened to the reputation of um, the leadership team, our team and the workforce. And there have men been many false allegations about the quality of those people. Um, with the right design, the proper specification, that shipyard and the workforce are more than capable of building all the ferries uh, that um, are needed for the, the, the future of the Scottish ferries. Thank you very much indeed.